know what is? You know it's funny. It's in, it's in, it's, in, it's in, really funny that in, people that are incredibly naive, like Benjamin, which you are, you're incredibly naive. You think this is going to be the end of it. I mean, oh, Esther, you can have Esther, you didn't know what you're talking you get, about because no, you no, no, didn't no, even no, know because, anyone had died, because, did you? Because, you're not what, informed. Guess what? In the last 48 hours, people with two two jabs are now technically not fully vaccinated. Even though that's not six correct. Months, that no, kicks that's exactly what came out of the mouth of Again, Esther, you don't know what you're talking about. That kicks in next year. Excuse me. That is exactly what came out of the mouth of Sajid Javid. Even though six months ago there were two doses, it's not what came out of his mouth, Esther. But he said once everyone's got the let me answer you. Hold on, hold on. This is once where everyone's got the stop, third dose, right? then that comes. Do you in. really think this will stop there? Because you're so naive that you're happy to throw away your freedoms, which you can do willingly, but don't think you can throw away my freedoms. Because you know, this is enough. Esther, I've had do. enough. Esther, I you agree. sit there. You don't I want agree. you, you argue enough. for people who refuse the vaccine. You refuse the lockdown. Yeah, it's you refuse individual masks, rights. You bury your head in the sand. It's called individual You are a rights. COVID denier. You Who's deny the reality we're in. Your you answers. You can give up your rights. Your I will not do that. Esther, you can, your you answers would see and people. The door, and if COVID comes knocking, you can go into your bathroom and Esther, hide. your answers would see people out there dying for no reason. No, it could include your loved ones. Themselves. And the truth is it's that wearing a mask or getting scared? the vaccine why, is not I difficult. Ask why you're so scared of Omicron? I, I'm not. I wouldn't use the word scared. But what you I, think we're in an emergency. You're, you're what pale. I would say is that the answer is emergency. clear to keep each other safe. OK, you know, so can I just clarify? You're not personally scared. You're still going out nightclubbing and, and, and well, living a it's very about being life, responsible. but you feel like the country is in a national emergency. It's in a threat of an emergency because this Omicron oh, okay. variant <laughs> is doubling every, the number of cases every two to three days. That's much faster than the last one. And we know that it's not as good with the two doses. And so what do How you many have there? Have died, what, what do you have there? Well, it first came here two to three weeks ago and we had our first death today. Two with to three, COVID, not of COVID. You don't know. No, no us, I read no. the news. It said with COVID. Yes. Was it well, of COVID? Boris Johnson again, said with COVID. Again, Thank you, Esther, the Prime Minister. You know, Again, Esther, you don't know what you're talking about because every COVID, every COVID death is referred to as with COVID, not COVID. So that's inaccurate. COVID. So you've just admitted that it's All 160,000 are with COVID. If you got COVID. hit by a bus and you had COVID, did you die from COVID? Well, look, I mean, you don't know how, you don't know anything no, else that happens to that No, answer that question. If you got hit by a bus and you died and you had COVID in your you, system, did you die of COVID? No, because you wouldn't be tested after you died. So that's oh, just really? Nonsense. Look, Do you know how an autopsy is, works? Look, <laughs> no, but Benjamin, if, look, to, to be fair to Esther... If you had tested positive within the past 28 days, oh, what bolder that you would People, be put down. It's not bolder that 106,000 dead you weren't hit by buses, Dan. It's a COVID death. They wish they would have if they had to listen to They, weren't, they weren't hit by buses. And you know what? The truth is that you talk about people with cancer uh, maybe not getting the treatment they maybe. want. Now, they should still definitely go to the GP if anybody has concerns about that and the government Can they say. see the GP? But I tell you what, if, I, if our hospitals... They can't see, they can't see the GP. If How our, many GPs they have are not been to told they can't see the GP. Well, they've been told it's going to be... GPs difficult. are refusing to and see patients. If so our hospitals are overwhelmed with people who have this Omicron variant in the next few months, well, who looks after the people with cancer then? That's what you have okay. to answer. Right. Benjamin Butterworth, I, Laura Dodsworth, I, you, final word I, to you, Laura. Oh, my God, the final word? Yeah. I've had well, so long to get any words in.